Well, hello there, friends. My favorite breakfast, steak and egg. I'm going to show you how to make it with home fries. Delicious. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make this wonderful steak and egg. Well, let me show you how easy it is to prepare my favorite steak and egg. That's what I have when I go out to breakfast. So I'm going to show you the way I like to make it. Very simple. Mise en place. We got a steak. It's a New York street. It's very thin because steak and egg without eating a one pound steak. Uh, we got some onion, bacon, potatoes. We're going to make a home fries with it. Eh? And then we got some peppers and garlic and a bit of parsley. And then we're going to do the whole thing really quick. So the first thing we do, we put a little bit of clarified butter, friends. If you don't have clarified butter, use a... Uh, uh, a vegetable oil or just a regular butter, but it's going to burn. So we have to be careful. We don't really like to burn the butter that much. When the fry pan is hot, we are then going to put the bacon. Remember, bacon is number one after onion. Onion is always number one unless there's bacon. Let's remember that. It's very important. We're going to take and put our bacon in there. And um, we're going to saute our bacon. And we're going to, the reason why you put the bacon first, friends, most of you that know that I've seen my channel before, is because we want to render the fat and then we're going to use that fat. And those home fried potatoes are going to be beautiful. This is the Ikari smoked bacon. And the pan needs to get a little hotter, but it will in a minute. I don't want to go too hot. It's very important, friends. You don't want to go too hot. Otherwise, what happens is you end up burning the lean part of the bacon uh, before the, the fat has time to render. So it's very important, okay? So we're going to wait just a second. Get me some uh, of fat right there rendered. You see, just a little bit. And then we got the potatoes. Now the potatoes, you've seen me dust potatoes in a few recipes. Very important everything be the same size. Size matter in cooking, friends, because if they're two, uh, they're not the same size, some are going to cook faster than others, right? The onion. The onion, I didn't dice them. I sliced them. So I took a big onion, right? And I cut it in half, right? I cut it in half, and I had my two half. And then I cut it um, this way. And then I cut it like that, so I have little pieces. You see? So they're not minced, they're not too little. So they are present in the potatoes. And we're gonna caramelize them nice, you see? And then we're gonna get the potatoes going. And while the, after the potatoes have a good, good head start, then we're gonna do the... Um, uh, we're going to do the steak. The steak is going to take two minutes. See, it's very thin. And it's not one of those. If you want a big steak, you should watch our steak video. You guys have been fantastic. The comments have been amazing. You have to watch the uh, steak video, and you'll see. Uh, the right way to do it, though, friends, is to, uh, to put the salt. I put the salt like uh, an hour ago. And uh, you put it in the fridge. Let it salt. You don't need to put any more salt in there. It's got enough salt. It'll go right through it. It'll be, you'll see, it'll be real seasoned. For those of you that are not doubting, why am I putting the salt? It's going to evaporate. No, it's not. It's going to, juice is going to put it out, and it's going to go right back in and season it. You should do it. You should try it. And you put the salt, you put it in the fridge, and now later you test, you'll see there's no more salt in here. It's all inside. So we're going to wait for this to get a little more uh, caramelized before we put the onion, okay? So I'll be back in a minute. When the bacon has rendered all of its fat, then we can put the onion in there. So I'll be back in one, one little minute. It's going to take a few minutes, okay? Okay, so now you can see it took about uh, three or four or five minutes. Three, four or five. Was it three or the four or the five? I don't know. It was somewhere around there. Uh, it's a little caramelized. Not, not enough, you know. We want a little more, but that's why we're going to put the onion right now, okay? We're going to put the onion and we're going to caramelize the onion. We're going to caramelize them. And the best way to caramelize them is to give them a little seasoning, friends. Okay? This is not like uh, my caramelized onion that I make. I have a, uh, a, a, um, a beautiful um, a recipe for caramelized onion that you can make ahead and freeze it. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out, folks. It's really good. So you see, look, we're going to caramelize the onion. So we're going to wait for this to happen. So it's like, Texas, that's just why. You see, I did not want to uh, uh, cook the bacon too much. Because otherwise, uh, by the time my onion are caramelized, they're way, way overcooked. You see? So we're going to cook this together. We're going to get them golden brown. So we're going to come back in a few minutes. Take your time. By the way, my heat is like medium high. Medium high, so it's not too high. I can control it so I don't burn it, okay? And this, my friends, is going to be delicious. So we'll come back in a few minutes again. So the video is not uh, half hour long. 
<laughs> and I'm going to put the potatoes, we're going to cover, we're going to cook them for a while, and then we're going to do the steak. All right, so I'll be back in a few minutes when the onion are nicely caramelized before we put the potatoes, all right? All right, friends, so this could take a good three to four or five minutes, <laughs> another one three to four or five minutes, right? Uh, but I want to show you, you see, look, the onion are starting to get golden brown, you see? The golden brown, that means they're getting sweeter, they caramelize, you see? And uh, now, I don't want to do it completely because I'm going to put the potatoes now. And, uh, and they're going to cook uh, more. So I don't want to caramelize them too much. But if I did not do this right now, if I didn't caramelize them just a little bit right now, you know what would happen, friends? You see right there? Look, we got plenty of colors. If I don't do this right now, uh, by the time I put the potatoes, the potatoes are full of waters. By the time I put the potatoes, then... Um, Little bit of peppers for nice colors. Little diced peppers. You don't have them. Don't worry. Uh, it, it'll be just fine without it. Okay? This is just for extra color. And uh, get back over here, you. And um, if I don't caramelize the onion before and you put the potatoes, you'll never have an opportunity to do it. Okay? So now, we're going to put all this together. Mix it up really good. And then, salt and pepper. Again, a little salt. Little pepper, and now the secret of my home fries, friends. Besides the fact that they're delicious, I got a piece in here somewhere. Uh, I cover them for the first few minutes. Yes, we're going to reduce the heat. We don't want it to go too fast. They're going to take a little while to cook, and then at the end, we'll put a little bit of garlic and then freshly chopped parsley. Now those could take a good seven to eight minutes. Ten minutes depends how big they are. Okay, and every so often, just check them. That's all you got to do. Just every, every so often, just give it a good twist like this every so often. That's all you got to do. And not worry. I put a cover on it so they stay nice and moist. And at the end, we take the cover out and we get everything nice caramelized. So we'll be back in about 8 to 10 minutes. Okay? Take your time. Relax. Make sure your heat is not too hot so you don't burn them and you don't have to worry about it too much. But every so often, like I said, just go there, pass by the stove, and just do a quick little thing. Yeah, I promise you, you're going to love those. They're delicious. All right? We're going to let them cook for a little while. All right, friends, we are back. Remember now, these potatoes have been uh, doing their thing for uh, about 10 minutes, and lo look at all that moisture that came out of it, and that's wonderful. That's how we want it. We want to keep that moisture so they stay nice and moist, and now we're going to finish them up at the last minute uh, as we're finishing our steak by putting a little bit of garlic and uh, a little bit of parsley. We're going to wait for the last minute, and then we're going to put a little bit of uh, fresh black pepper, in here, and we're gonna put fresh black pepper on the steak. A lot of people tell you don't put the fresh black pepper, it's gonna burn. Nonsense, it doesn't burn, don't worry about it. How much pepper you put in, it's up to you. The salt, we already did it, right? So now we're gonna put the oil, and we're using the avocado oil. And, uh, or you can use your clarified butter, I just think you get a better crust with the avocado oil. Uh, and, uh, and, and it's fine, but use whatever you want. You can certainly use the, um, we're going to do the egg in here, and we're going to do the steak in here. We're going to make sure the pan is hot, and uh, we're looking at about 365 degrees. Steak is going to be very fast because it's very thin, you know. If you want to do a big steak, then you got to go to the oven, friends, okay? And, but we're not going to do that. So this is very thin. We're going to cook it right there, and we're going to go in, and... Let me make sure I'm at the right temperature. I don't want to go in a cold pan, friends. I want a nice crust, okay? So I'm going to wait uh, another quick second. Let me flip my potatoes. Potatoes are, have an amazing flavor. And we're going to put the garlic. Let's do it now. There's a little bit of garlic right now. We're going to put a little bit of parsley. And we'll go back and put a little bit more at the end for extra freshness. Oh, a lot of people are complaining. They're not complaining. They're like, oh, my goodness. How can I be using his, uh, his metal uh, tongue? in a non-stick fry pan. Those folks are made out of diamonds. They are diamond fry pan, they're wall. And I, I've been using that fry pan right here, friends, for years, that particular one right there, 10 years. And I use metal all the time. It doesn't do, it doesn't hurt it at all, as long as you're you know, gonna go cut in there, you know? So we're gonna let them cook. Let's get the steak ready, because now we are probably at the right temperature. Yes, we are. We're gonna put the steak, remember when you first put it in, put it in a pan, and don't touch it for a minute. Now, here's what's going to happen. It, it's nothing wrong with flipping the steak if you want. But a thin steak like this, you want to get a nice crust, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone for 
uh, a few minutes on each side and you'll get a better crust. If the crust is interesting to you. Leave it alone, it's gonna do its thing perfectly fine. Now the egg. The egg, we're gonna cook it in, um, we're gonna cook it in butter. Regular butter, friends. We don't want it to be too hot. I don't want it to be like blue, 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 blue. <laughs> blue, blue, blue. What the heck kind of energy is that, friends? I don't want the, the egg to be all bubbled out. I want it to stay nice. And the best way to do this, friends, first you crack your egg in a small bowl. You crack your egg in a small bowl, okay? All right? And then you take it, and you're going to put it in, in your, your butter. The butter's got to be about 250 degrees, okay? You're going to put it right in there. You know what? I cracked the egg too hard. I just see it right here, friends. I cracked the egg a little too hard, so I'm going to do another one. This is like a um, one-time deal here, show. We don't, <laughs> we don't fix things. The reality is then if you do it too hard, if you do it too hard, you crack the yolks. And I don't want to crack. See, I cracked it right there. I'm not doing that. All right, so I'm going to go in the pan. See, leave it a steak alone. Leave it a potato alone. Boy, I heard some crack. I don't know where they came from. But <laughs> All right, a little butter in here, friends. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to put butter. We love butter around here, friends. Okay, and here we have it. You have your egg broken. We want a perfect sunny side up eggs, right? So we put it in butter. Make sure it's not too hot. 250, 275. You'll see a little bit of bubbling right there, right? And you take the egg gently, friends. Put it right in there and leave it alone. You see, leave it alone. I say, leave it alone. I'm moving it around. Very simple. That's all we do. We let it cook slowly. And then we're going to put it right on the stick. The potatoes are amazing. They smell just absolutely amazing, friends. Now, the steak is probably ready to flip. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see? Beautiful. Now, depends how you like it cooked. Obviously, it could take a little bit longer. Okay? We're going to stop the potatoes, give them a little more uh, parsley, and you out of here. See, we just leave it alone, just like that, friends. I got the black pepper. On the egg, we're going to put just a little bit of salt, about three, four minutes. You know, I forgot to put my cover on it. It's easier if you put a cover, then you cook the yolk much nicer. All right, the steak is going to be really, really ready. Remember, this is very thin. We don't want to overcook it. So we're going to put the steak. Steak is, is ready. It really doesn't take much. Put a little more pepper on that side. We're going to take the see how fast that steak went. Look, you can feel it. It's ready. We're going to leave it in here just for a second. Leave that alone. The egg is going to be ready. Let me take a spatula to get my eggs. And then we're done. We're going to put the potato. Oh, yeah. Egg is beautiful. You see? Let's put this here right there. Let's leave it in there for another second so it cooks. I think it's perfectly fine. Right? Let's make a plate. In a plate, friends, we're going to put our potatoes that are beautifully cooked. Beautiful potatoes. Look at that. It depends how you like your home fries. I love them just like that. Okay. I think that's enough. What do you think? Hmm? I think that's enough, friends. Let's turn this off. Let's take our steak. Put our steak right in here, friends. Very simple. Let me clean up my mess. I always make mess. Very simple. Voila. Now we're going to take our eggs. And we're going to put it right on top, friends. Come on. Come over here, you. Come over here, you. There you go. Beautiful. All right, the last thing we're going to do, we're going to turn everything off so we don't need to worry about it. We're going to put just a little bit of black pepper on top of the egg. I like to put just a little bit of salt right on the egg. And how simple was that, friends? Steak and egg with the home fries. This took a few seconds. You'll go right ahead and make this. Don't forget, friends. Subscribe to the channel if you like the recipe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. 
And don't forget to ring the bell so you get a notification every week when we do a new show. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you next time. As usual, friends, I always forget to eat. Aha. But that's okay. Those potatoes smell amazing. So all we're going to do is I'm going to cut into this. And uh, the idea is for the camera to see. And uh, now it depends how you like your steaks cook. I like mine rare. So you cook a little more if you want, but you see right there, this is rare, medium rare, rare. And this is beautiful, friends. And right there, this is going to be like so tender. It's going to be delicious. Really simple. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. As usual, I can't, I can't talk with my mouth full. Thanks again for watching. We look forward to seeing you sometime next week. Fabulous. Look at this. Gorgeous. If you like a medium rare rare, that is exactly how you want. Remember, it was in the pan only a few seconds, a few minutes. Really simple. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm.